welcome friends we are from tpc our aim is to provide the interface between academy and industry and i am associated with tpc and i am a certified energy auditor from bureau of energy efficiency so our today's topic is concept of electricity units so before going deep into this topic i would like to thank each one of the individual for subscribing our channel for viewing our older videos for giving your likings and also i would like to thank the persons who are aspiring to view our videos on youtube so this concept is very important because in our daily routine activity and industries offices we have heard this term units unit is something in which electricity is getting recorded so if you consume electricity the supplier will give you the bill in terms of unit so they will multiply the units with the cost per unit and then they will give you the bill so it's very relevant and a very interesting topic to understand in unit there are two terms that is kilowatt hour or kvah this is also very important because without understanding these two units kilowatt hour and kvah you will not be able to understand the entire concept so we'll be talking about these two units as well because these two units are really very important okay so let's go deep into the presentation so before going deep i would also tell you that if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe it there is a small bell button is there you can click the button and you can subscribe our channel you will be getting latest views videos updates you can comment the section we will reply your comments will reply your queries so the people associated with us they are well experienced and they are well competent to answer your questions so the next thing is what is kilowatt hour and how it is calculated however for some of the individual it looks like that it's very simple yes it is very simple initially we are uploading the videos which is quite simple so that everybody should understand the videos once we all are at the same platform if all our scholars are at the same platform then we will be taking the topics in a deeper version okay so initially we are taking a basic topics so that basic should be clear first so what is kilowatt hour kilowatt hour is a measure of energy which means 1000 watt of power for one hour time period so this is the definition so when you measure the energy you need some unit so that unit is kilowatt hour or you can say that watt hour why we call kilowatt so once you multiply watt hour with 1000 it becomes kilowatt it's nothing but when you multiply grams into 1000 it becomes kilogram so like that when you multiply watt into 1000 it becomes kilowatt so kilowatt hour so kilowatt is what i will take a simple example to make you people understand about the concept so suppose you have a bulb and this bulb is having the capacity of 100 watt so 100 watt bulb is there and it is running for 10 hours so if you do the multiple of watt into hour you will get the unit consumption so here how much unit consumption it is coming 1000 watt hours okay so 1000 watt hour is the unit consumption which we call it as 1 kilowatt hour okay and which we call it as one unit i hope you understand the concept so it's very simple it's very basic currently so when we talk about unit it is 1 kilowatt hour that means 1000 watt hours very simple correct 
so not only bulb if you take some other example suppose you have a fan which is having 200 watt 300 watt capacity and it is running for 10 hours so 200 into 10 it becomes two units 300 into 10 it becomes three unit it's very simple so you add on the appliances equipments you have like in the house suppose you have appliances it is running and if you add on the values you will be able to determine that how much units you are going to consume okay one thing should keep in mind which i am going to tell you in detail in my next videos not in this video this is a basic video in that i'll be talking about how much is the actual load okay how is the how much is the actual current that equipment is consuming so if the equipment is running on full load you can multiply with the full capacity if it's running at 50 percent load like in terms of fan if i talk about you have a regulator you regulate the speed of the fan okay so if you, it is at running at full speed you can take it as full suppose it is at 300 watt you can take it as 300 watt directly so if it is at running at 50 percent speed you can uh, take it 50 percent however there are mathematical calculations there are theoretical concepts as well as the measurements through which you can determine that how much value you need to take to generate the unit concept but we are not going to talk about it because it becomes very confusing it's a basic lecture let's make it basic okay so we term kilowatt as active power so if i only talk about kilowatt agar watt hour may sirf if we talk about kilowatt then in that case kilowatt is called as an active power this is the real power which you are going to consume so once you are consuming the power you are doing something with respect to that power maybe in the houses you are running the mixer grinder in plants in factories you are running different type of motors pumps different equipments or i can say that i am running a laptop so it is consuming an active power that is real power so this is the real power my laptop is consuming so that is the active power okay so we call it as active power as real power okay friends let's understand the concept of apparent active and reactive power so if you are a professional so especially if you are an energy sector professional or an electrical engineer or the scholar or an aspirational scholar so you should understand this concept because without understanding this concept it becomes very difficult for you to work as a professional okay and if you are consuming the electricity since you are consuming it you are paying from your pocket so i would say that it's a consumer right to understand that for what he or she is paying for so there are three things three types of powers are there active reactive and apparent so i am going to discuss all of the three i'll make your concept clear on it so active power i am going to make a power triangle here so active power so if in the base we have taken active power okay so which is the real power we have already talked about the so real power which is which we are consuming okay which we are actually consuming and doing some work out of it like suppose i am running a printer i am taking out the prints and the consumption which goes into the printer that is an active power okay so you are getting the output from the printer in the form of prints okay so this is active power so active power i have taken in base real power reactive power reactive power is something which we call it as wattless power which don't have any watt which actually we don't consume but it goes as a loss okay then you have apparent power so apparent power we take it as kva kva you must have heard because whenever the supply from the electricity grid comes it comes in the form of kva kilovolt ampere okay apparent power kilovolt ampere so it is the main supply from the grid so this is something which grid gives you like kva so you have a supply of 3 kva 4 kva okay so in 
houses we have three kva supply depends on the connected load and the load which you are going to actually run so it becomes your load so in the in my last video i have already told you the concept of consumption and demand okay so you can go through my last video however i am going to put a link in this video as well you can watch that video once this video is over so it is apparent power kva active power is actually you are going to consume reactive power is something which is going as a loss wattless power it is having the units kvar kilovolt ampere reactive and this is kilowatt you are going to consume in the form of kilowatt okay so then there is an angle which is made between active and the apparent power which is cos phi okay so this angle is i'll be talking more on this you just know that there is an angle cos phi between base and the hypotenuse there is an angle which is cos phi okay which we call it as power factor i'll be talking more on this first i'll make you the concept clear with respect to these three powers apparent power apparent power you can easily calculate it is the hypotenuse if i talk about uh, pythagoras theorem so you can easily apply the pythagoras theorem here and uh, the apparent power it is the combination of active and reactive power so if you want to calculate the apparent power so you can have uh, pythagoras theorem so it's hypotenuse square plus base square plus perpendicular square you can easily find this value then what is active power active power like i have already told you it is measured in terms of kilowatt or watt this is the actual power you are going to consume so here also you can apply the pythagoras theorem okay it is in the base the base square is equal to hypotenuse square minus perpendicular square okay then you have reactive power reactive power is something it is the quantity of unused power developed by reactive component so there are two components one is this one the second one is this one so this creates this reactive power okay so reactive power is also can be calculated from this triangle itself you can use the theorem and you can calculate the reactive power so there are three powers one is active power which is the real power one is apparent power which is actually supplied from the grid and the third one is the reactive power which you are not going to consume which is a wattless power but it is going as a waste okay now i'll be talking about this cos phi cos phi is nothing but you must have heard let cos phi so once you uh, talk about sin theta cos theta tan theta okay so cos theta is base divided by hypotenuse so this is the base kilowatt divided by hypotenuse that is kva so kilowatt divided by kva is your cos phi which we call it as power factor this is very important because if your power factor is near to unity na it's very good so i'll be talking more on this in my next slide so uh, this is the thing so cos phi that means active power divided by your apparent power so active power is there and the apparent power is there understanding billing so there is something nice going to happen viewers uh, i am going to serve you with the beer here the beer glass jumping in into the presentation you can see in the video so it's not something i am going to serve you today take it easy it is only for the example purpose i have taken here so to make your concept uh, easily understandable i have taken this as an example so you have a beer bottle you are going to pour a beer from a beer bottle into the glass but it is not poured properly you can find here there is a froth on the top only this much is the drinkable liquid so if you see here if you want to fill it more you will get it overflowed okay so i am not going to fill it more so actually the liquid what you are getting in this glass is this much only so let's understand the concept 
you have apparent power the power which is actually getting supplied from the grid that is the amount which you have poured from the bottle to the glass this is this much amount okay so this you have done it you have not poured it properly so uh, they have supplied you in the bottle but you have not poured it properly so this is the amount you have poured into the glass this is the amount which is getting supplied from the grid then this is the active power this is the actual liquid which you consume okay from here to here this is the actual liquid you are going to consume this is active power real power okay and then there is a reactive power which goes as a loss because this is a froth you have not poured it properly so there is a froth and you are not going to consume it so it's a reactive power so in the same way the power is getting supplied from the grid you have converted this power to the active power but you have not converted it properly so there is a reactive power there is a loss so let's understand the concept of billing with respect to in which terms the billing used to happen so there are two ways one is kvah billing the second one is kwh billing which you call it as active power billing and the apparent power billing if there is an apparent power billing kvah billing you have been charged both for active power as well as reactive power so reactive power plays an important role in this case because more loss will be there more value will be charged but you are not actually getting and getting it utilized so it's better to reduce your reactive power as much as possible the second billing is kwh in this case only active power is getting charged to you so if only active power is getting charged to you only this much is getting charged to you this reactive power is taken care by the apparent power that means is taken care by the supplier of the apparent power grid suppliers they take care of this reactive power okay so in case of apparent power billing kvah billing it becomes very important to focus on the reactive power how you can reduce the reactive power so since in the last uh, uh, words we have already discussed that what is power factor what is cos phi how you can calculate the cos phi so this is the thing we discussed in the last slide so you see that there is an angle which is cos phi which is created between apparent power and the active power so which is based upon hypotenuse if i talk about active power divided by the apparent power so if you make this cos phi near to unity if the power factor is near to unity then that means apparent power will be equal to active power so there will be a very less reactive power or you can say that zero reactive power okay so make this angle as low as possible okay so that make this cos phi near to unity because cos zero is equal to one so then you can manage your supply properly so by this way you can reduce the electricity consumption as well as your money also will be saved so if you say that in terms of money you will be saving a lot if you reduce this reactive power i hope you understand the concept of billing i hope you understand the concept of active power reactive power and apparent power so in the end i would only say that thanks for watching this video do like and subscribe so once you subscribe once you like it gives us the inspiration to upload more videos thank you so much for watching thank you